Hello Matrix and welcome again. Today we are looking at the reducing balance method for depreciation. So the main thing about this is just to remember which formula to use and you need to know that it's this formula here because if something is going down it's going to have a negative i and of course if it's a reducing balance it's going to be to the power of n because it's not simply just going down by a set amount each year that balances then reducing. So each year that it goes down, it goes down by slightly less. Right, so I want to use this question here, which says exactly five years ago, Mpumi bought a new car for 145,000 and its current value is now 72,000. So we're going to just write out the formula. So A equals P one minus I to the power of N. And they want to know the rate of depreciation. They tell us that it's five years. So we know that N is equal to five. A is the amount that it starts with. Uh, sorry, well, that it depreciated two. So that would be 72,000. And then the P is the present value. So this would have been the, the value at the time that he bought the car. So basically we say 40, we take that as 145,000. Okay, if we think about it logically, 145,000 reduces to 72,500. So now we just simply put that in. And so we say 72,500 equals 145,000, one minus I, we don't know, to the power of five. Okay, now we can divide these two by each other, so we'll just put 145,000, and we'll cancel that. Then what we can do is to the root five, so we're gonna do that on both sides. Okay, and that's going to give you one minus I. So let's put that into our calculator. So we've got uh, the square root button and inside the square root, we've got a fraction. Okay, I need to just get to the right mode. If you see that where it's not giving you the fraction, just go to, the computational mode, and then we can put that in. That's much better. Okay, so, but we don't want that button. We want uh, the button which allows us to put in a value for the, uh, or allows us to put in a five here. And then we can put uh, brackets, and then we've got 72,500 over one, 45,000 oh that's not that's that that is right yeah. equals and that's going to be 0 0.87 0 0.87 and of course When we take one across to the other side, we get um, one zero point eight seven minus one equals minus i. So this becomes negative zero point one three equals minus i. So we get the i. The rate is equal to zero point one three times a hundred equals thirteen percent. Okay, so that is the reducing balance method uh, where we asked to work out our <clears throat> interest rate. So whatever uh, unknown you're given, you could just substitute in the formula and then manipulate it. So um, next I'm going to be doing uh, 7.2 in the next video where we're going to be looking at loans. So uh, subscribe so you get notifications on that video and others. And I will see you again soon for the next video. All the best with your studies.